What's up guys? You probably found this video because you're interested in wrapping a car and it's probably the first wrap you've ever done. We're nearly done wrapping this Porsche and it's the first car we've ever done. We certainly learned a lot and we're here today to show you some of the tips and tricks we learned to hopefully make your first wrap a lot easier. Hey guys, this is pretty hard. Like, that is our stuff. Like, it's way harder than we thought it would be. Yeah, but I think that we screwed it up by putting way too much of that juice on. Now that you've had an opportunity to play around with the vinyl and sort of see its limitations, what it can and can't do, how far you can really push it, it's time to lay your first piece. So to do that, before, before you can lay any sort of vinyl, you've got to measure it out. And we came up with this trick, I think it's pretty widely used, is just using some painter tape. You're going to want to put it a couple inches off the edge. You want about three inches at least off each edge. And we're just going to run a piece of painter's tape all the way around, keeping it tight to the piece, and rip it off. And we're going to do that for the length and the width. See, the problem is this vinyl is, is flat, obviously. Nothing on a car is flat for the most part. So to measure it accurately, you've got to do something that, that takes account for the contours. So same thing on this side. Three inches, boom. And it's just rough, you can always go a little over three inches, just make sure you leave yourself a little bit of room. You're gonna see why in the next step. But we're gonna go ahead and put this up against the roll of vinyl and get our first piece cut. All right, so now you and your friend are gonna pull it out and then you're gonna take that tape and start at the end over there. And what's nice is Vivid has put in their name all over so that then at the end of this tape here, you can use that line. So we'll use this premium line right here to be able to just cut straight down and uh, then we'll be able to start wrapping. All right, guys, so one of the things that we did learn is that this wrap attack says that you are supposed to lay the vinyl wet with this stuff on it. That is further from the truth. What you wanna do is spray it down or spritz it, and then you wanna give it a good buff, and you actually wanna lay down the vinyl dry. Now, with it being wet, which is what we did earlier, um, it did not work, so make sure that you take a look and see what the vinyl manufacturer recommends but for Vivid Vinyl Premium Plus, we can guarantee that you wanna lay it down dry. It's a lot easier to work with that way. So I'm just gonna get this thing cleaned up real quick and then Trav and I are gonna lay some glass. Guys, you guys can kind of abuse this vinyl. Now, we watched a bunch of like professionals doing vinyl wraps and like they laid it down once and then it was like perfect. That's further from the truth as far as like, you can pick this up as many times as you want, lay it back down. If it does get an imperfection, like there are some already here on this well, vinyl. with this type of vinyl. Right. Some vinyls like chrome, stuff like that, like we we don't know, this is the only thing we have experience with, but they are supposedly very, very difficult to work with. Right, very little heat. So your vinyl may vary a little bit, but as far as Vivid's, Vivid's vinyl, this color, you really can kind of abuse this stuff. And when we talk about laying glass, what is it exactly we're trying to do? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick this up and kind of hold it like a picnic table. So all fours and pull it, and then we're trying to hit the crease. So you'll be able to look at everything from like this ski box here, just going on the 911, to like this fender here. You would look and see the flattest part of the fender, and that's the part that you wanna lay glass on. So what laying glass means is it's going to lay flat like glass. And then you just lay it down and then you're gonna start working sections where with this rectangle here, we're gonna work four quadrants. So we're gonna try to lay some glass real quick, which means we're gonna try to get this center part here and then we're going to activate some of the glue. So using squeegee, we're gonna pull it up. Okay, so we're pulling it all fours pretty hard, pretty hard, like pretty hard. And we're gonna lay it down Keep going, keep going. Nice. All right, we've gotten a lot better at this since the first time we did it, but this is what it looks like, guys. So as you can see, the center here, there's not a ton of wrinkle marks like this right here. Now there are some on the sides and we'll work that, but essentially what Trav's gonna try to do 
is lay a line across here and then lay a line this way and you'll see that in just a second but right now he's laying this because as you can see this has air in it so the glue isn't activated but right here this is where there's some stickiness and it's going to be an anchor point for everything going forward so once we uh, get this situated the final step is to hit it with a heat gun which really activates the glue so until you hit it with a heat gun and really activate that glue it's not gonna totally stop. <laughs>